and I got scholarship, I was able to be among the chosen few. From two to Mingivi, to Mia Kwanza Walipia, Sasa Katakena, pandemic, coronavirus, Katambia to Kuja home, Mutuka Mimis and Lianza Kushtuka, Sani Kasem, Mutasoma, Jesasa, Mings to fly program, Kaleta is a radio, Nasola Zipsaidia, Kunuazesha Kundelak Soma at a can you see you. Equity or an at Patia Psakidoga, my Taji upon your barn. Sazin and Akanga to Chin and Nambia Munga Santi Kokunis idea and Lijani program. Najuan has achieved Dream Yangus Kumoja to become a lawyer. But Kansi wings to fly, Singeweza to pick up a Tafanya Nipo. Please eat your breakfast. Look, Ma, he lost his cape. Not all superheroes wear capes. There are heroes all around us, like the ones that bring nutrition to millions of us every day. Wow, am I a hero too? Yes, you do. And your dad. He goes to the farm every day to make sure his grain is of high quality. Superheroes have their own sidekick. Does dad have his own sidekick? Yes, they are his partners. They take the grain and produce this new tree that you love so much. Then it gets to the local supermarket and we buy it from there. Nutri makes us stronger and healthier. Strong like a superhero. Yes, son. But do you know why your dad and his sidekicks are superheroes? Because they make Nutri. <laughs> Every spoonful of Nutri comes loaded with the necessary vitamins, protein and minerals for you and your family to become healthier and stronger. Pick up a pack today from your nearest store. Nutri. Every spoonful. Istikbal is now in Kenya. We are the voice for quality, colorful, innovative and functional home furniture with presence in 92 countries worldwide. We have it all. Sofas, beds, dining and mattresses. Celebrate our end year sale of 50% off. Yes, everything at half price from 2nd November to 31st December. Visit our showroom at Panasar Center, Mombasa Road, opposite Airtel. Own land or property in Nairobi? Hurry and clear your outstanding land rates. We have extended the 100% waiver on land rates up to 15th November 2020. So, collect your invoice from our cash office at Times Tower Banking Hall or City Hall and Makadara offices and pay today only through the Nairobi County Revenue Collection Accounts at Cooperative Bank of Kenya. You stand to gain 100% from the 100% waiver extension. At the end of the waiver period, KRA will institute enforcement measures. Terms and conditions apply. J, maumivu ya kichwa na kukosesha amani. Kaluma Strong utuliza maumivu ya kichwa, maumivu ya mwili na hata uondoa joto jingi mwilini. Kaluma Strong ina aspirin kama kiungo. Maumivu ya kizidi, muone daktari. Welcome to Good Life, where we are all about you. And when we say you, we mean all of you including the little ones. We're all about ensuring you feel better and healthier so you enjoy every moment with the ones closest to you. A smile on your face is what we're about. That's why you'll always be welcome back to Good Life Pharmacies across Kenya with the same smile on every visit. Good Life. We're all about you. Nivea Men Deep Antiperspirant with the power of black carbon formula. 48 hour protection from sweat and bacteria. For a deep, clean feeling that lasts. New Nivea Men Deep Antiperspirant. Nivea Men, it starts with you. Official sponsor of Real Madrid. This is NTV.
evening to you. It is nine o'clock on this ninth day of November 2020. I'm Smriti Vidyarthi. Great to have you with us. Thanks for joining us on NTV. These are our top stories. Tonight, 756 new COVID-19 infections, 19 more deaths and dozens of arrests around the country as authorities go to war with the COVID-19 rule breakers. Also tonight, governors converge in Naivasha to build consensus on the Building Bridges initiative. But even their bridge to unity has a few cracks. They are very adamant. I can tell you they are very adamant. Plus, attention please, class is in session. If you are doing oversight, you are doing representation, you are doing legislation. Kwani hiyo yote unafanya kama kuna kitu kwa kichwa? Kuna wengi ambao wako na wamekuwa na masomo ya hali ya juu, madaktari, maprofesa, na hata wale ambao wako na degree vile inasemwa, lakini performance yao katika bunge ama katika assemblies imekuwa chini. MCAs now have to be reacquainted with the pages of the Elections Act and it's all to do with their level of education. And also tonight, ex-Tanzania MP God Bless Lemma flees a persecutor's paradise in Tanzania, only to end up in detention in Kenya. NTV Tonight with Smriti Vidyarthi. Joining us in sign language interpretation tonight is Flora Atieno. And we begin the broadcast with the latest COVID-19 numbers. 756 more people have tested positive for the coronavirus and 19 more people have died from it within just the last 24 hours. These figures are out of a sample size of 4,316. Well, this now brings the total national count up to 63,244. Out of the new infections, 478 are male and 278 are female. Nairobi County continues to record high infections at 371 today, followed by Mombasa at 82, Kiambu 52, Busia 39 and Wasingishu at 34. On a positive note, though, 728 people have recovered from the virus, and that brings the total number of recoveries up to 42,659. The total number of fatalities, though, has risen to 1,130. Hell's Gate MCA John Njuguna, alias Wasusi, died this afternoon while receiving treatment at the Nakuru Nursing Home in what is suspected to be a case of COVID-19. Njuguna fell ill last Friday and was admitted at the hospital's intensive care unit where he died. His death comes days after the Nakuru County Assembly suspended its physical sittings after some of the county workers tested positive for the virus. Nakuru County Governor Lee Kinyanjui says the county will tighten its COVID-19 mitigation measures. The county has recorded among the highest number of daily infections in recent days. Hard-working and respected MCA was passionate about education, having worked previously with the national government as an education officer and uh, resigned to come and join elective politics in 2017. We want to wish the family and friends our prayers and thoughts and uh, other communications will be made in due course. Well, condolences to Wasusi's family. As police continue to crack the whip on Kenyans who flaunt the COVID-19 protocols, at least 23 people have been arrested in Moranga County, 38 in Kiambu and 100 in Embu. Police officers from the counties have issued a warning to residents breaking the government-set COVID-19 regulations, especially as the country records rising numbers of coronavirus infections. 
It was a cat and mouse game between residents and the authorities in Muranga County. Those on the losing end were residents and business operators who defied the set COVID-19 protocol. According to authorities, many residents have thrown caution to the wind, walking without face masks and having zero regard for social distance. So far, at least 23 people have been arrested in the county and three bars closed down. Na zile bars zilikuwa zifuati sheria, hatuta zirundishia license tena. Na wale watu tumeshika pia, tutawapeleka kotini ili mkono wa sheria uweze kufanya kazi yake. This comes as Kenya continues to record an increase in COVID-19 infections. In Kiambu County, the narrative was similar. They marched in side by side, ready to face the consequences of their actions, among them a mother and her infant. They were presented before resident magistrate Oscar Onyaga at a thicker law court, where they were fined 5,000 shillings each, or a three-month jail term. For Susan Wamboy, the mother of the infant, luck was on her side as she walked away with just a warning by the magistrate. <laughs> A hundred residents from Embu County were early arrested after an operation led by the county commissioner in a bid to streamline the COVID-19 regulations within the county. The arrested were later released and issued with face masks. Helen Aura, NTV. Well, this story could stir up feelings of hope, but should be taken with a bit of caution. U.S. pharmaceutical giant Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech firm have announced that their coronavirus vaccine is more effective, or rather is 90% more effective in preventing COVID-19. Well, this comes as a huge relief in the fight against a pandemic that has killed more than a million people, battered the world's economy and appended daily life. The two companies said they have so far found no serious safety concerns and expect to seek U.S. authorization this month for emergency use of the vaccine. But here's the catch. If authorized, the number of doses will be limited for every country. And some people may receive that vaccine at some point this year, but it is likely to go to those who need it most, and those include healthcare workers, also the elderly as well. All right, well, from COVID-19, let's now switch focus to the Building Bridges Initiative. And governors can't seem to build consensus on some of the contentious issues in the BBI report. The governors who are converged in Naivasha ahead of a meeting with the president and ODM leader Raila Odinga are mostly uncomfortable with the proposal that governor candidates nominate a person of the opposite gender as their running mate and that the roles of deputy governors be clearly spelt out. NTV senior political reporter Kennedy Morethi is keeping an eye on the happenings in Naivasha and now brings us more details. Against a growing push for alterations and additions to the BBI proposals, governors and their deputies converged in Naivasha to build consensus and a stronger muscle to push for their own interests ahead of a sitting with President Uhuru Kenyatta and ODM leader Raila Odinga, who are expected to address them Tuesday morning. But even in this quest for unity, there were clear points of dispute which occasionally ended in shouting matches between the participants. One of the sore spots for the governors is the proposal that a candidate for the position of governor nominates a person of the opposite gender as their deputy. If the BBI insists on appointing a deputy after elections, then that appointment should go to a deputy governor who is with the other gender. But it cannot be that you are being forced to, to choose a woman because there are circumstances, cultural issues in various places where uh, women are respected, there are places where they are not respected. So, so long as the one is shall consider, I don't see any problem with it because he's saying as far as possible 
you know, think, think deeply before you make your decision. Who has told you there will not be more than five or ten in the 2022? So sometimes we should not underrate by just jumping into something called gender when we know the capacity of our mothers and our ladies, our female. They are capable. They are learned even more than men. It should be left open. Otherwise, we will be limiting our freedom so much. They are very adamant. I can tell you they are very adamant. But we we'll find a way of going around it. The governors are also opposed to the proposal to have the roles of deputy governors clearly defined. I was the first governor in the republic to appoint my deputy as a CEC. Quickly, there was no law that they told me not to do it or to do it. If you have a skill and you can do it, why not? Unfortunately, when I gave mine, it disappeared for six months. <laughs> so I had to move now uh, to give to somebody else. In the meantime, ODM leader Raila Odinga was still on a charm offensive. This time, it was a campaign to bring the leaders from the pastoral community into the fold. BBI has a lot of gain for us as pastoralist communities. We cannot, as pastoralists, oppose BBI. We must be on board. We are in government. We must sit on the table and discuss an eye on those issues the same way other communities in this country are discussing those issues. And you say that some of those issues can and will be taken on board. And they have appointed a representative, three representatives from here who will actually sit down with the, the technical team. The question of women representation almost cut short one of the sessions as women governors believe that they are getting a raw deal out of the architecture of this report as they now call on President Uhuru Kenyatta to listen to them a bit more and give them more powers in the end. Kennedy Muraidi, NTV in Naivasha, Nakuru County. Right, from those disagreements to a different kind and MCA's plan to move to court to challenge provisions in the Election Act that require contestants to have at least a basic university degree to qualify for election. With COVID-19 having derailed any plans to get the necessary papers before the 2022 general election, it's likely that many will be locked out. Leila Mohammed delves into the heated debate. County assemblies and drama have been near synonyms. Very few stand out for the exemplary performance of their lawful duties. For us to strengthen the county assemblies, because it is also an institution where a number of things normally take place. Pre-presentation, legislation, there is need to have certain standards set for the members of the county assembly. The Elections Act provides that a person may be nominated as a candidate for an election, whether as a member of the National Assembly or member of the County Assembly, only if that person holds a degree from a university recognized in Kenya. While that law has been postponed several times with those proposing that it be reinstated, hoping for it to come into full effect in 2022, for some who will be affected now say that this is just another reason to curtail their leadership ambitions. Very many other people could be locked out, but there must be a certain standard, a minimum educational requirement, even if it is a diploma. Kuna wengi ambao wako na wamekua na masomo ya hali ya juu, lakini performance yao katika bunge ama katika assemblies imekua chini. Marginalized areas, the pastoralist community, we had been disadvantaged to access uh, uh, education earlier we are still much very much behind but all the same we cannot also compromise the issue of education some believe that higher education qualifications are not necessarily a bad thing for example a document like budget document but if you have if you don't have the the basic requirements it will not be it will be hard for you to interact with that document somebody with a capacity can represent people, can do the legal or the legislative function within the assembly. According to the Elections Act, these provisions will now apply to candidates seeking election from 2022. But with less than two years to go and with COVID-19 having disrupted the academic calendar, the window for acquiring a degree is closing fast. You are doing representation. You are doing legislation. 
kwani hiyo yote unafanya kama kuna kitu kwa kichwa hivyo na cook masaba qualification i don't think we need to prescribe minimum qualifications of members of county assembly it will not be fair to ask that mcas also have degrees uh, for me i would say maybe a diploma uh, would be sufficient the county assembly's forum the caucus that brings together all the 47 county assemblies says these provisions could lock out a majority of MCAs. They plan to challenge this law in court. Leila Mohamed, NTV. All right, well, let's see what comes out of that. Elsewhere, President Uhuru Kenyatta has asked the Director of Public Prosecutions to focus his energies on prosecuting the high-profile cases involving the misuse of public funds. The President says this is the only way Kenyans will have confidence in efforts to fight graft. He spoke at State House where he received the DPP's 2017-2018 and 2018-2019 performance reports from the Director of Public Prosecutions, that is Nurdin Haji. In the meantime, it's been more than a fortnight since the DPP received the updated files on the investigations into the corruption at the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority, that's KEMSA, detailing just who benefited from flawed procurement processes at the body. The DPP is, though, yet to make a decision on what action will be taken and if there will be any arrests. Well, that's certainly an issue we will be focusing on and following closely as it was our very own uh, Dennis Okari, our investigative editor, that broke that story about the corruption at Kemsa and that was titled COVID Millionaires. Now, former Tanzanian MP, God bless Lemma, who was arrested in Kajiado and held in custody for over 24 hours, has been released unconditionally. Lemma was fleeing from what he termed as a persecutor's paradise and was seeking asylum in Kenya. Gina Kirori has the details. A decision by former Arusha Aban constituency MP, God bless Lemma, to save himself and his family from danger turned into this. Lemma, now sitting at the Kajiado police station after an attempt to seek asylum in Kenya, flopped. Lemma, his wife and three children left their home in Tanzania and boarded a taxi, which then took them to the Kenya Namanga border. They were then intercepted by Kenyan police at Ilbisil town. Lemma was then arrested and his wife and three kids whisked to a location under the UNHCR's protection. I realized that I was going to be able to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. I was going to get out of my life. Lemma's woes came after Tanzania began a crackdown on opposition parties. This moment, witnessed between Tanzanian President John Magufuli and Lemma in the past, has since become a rare scene as Lemma has been vocal about his opposition towards the Chama Chama Pinduzi party, led by President Magufuli. Lemma's lawyer argues that he was only seeking political asylum and should have been processed under the United Nations Commission for Refugees. How do you arrest somebody who has given himself up and saying, here I am, here I am, I'm running away from persecution, please save me. You, are, you arrest the person with his family, saying that I'm a Peter Kompaka because haku wanyesha kitambulisho, tumeambiwa na sirikali ya Tanzania, we ni nani? Tanzania ni sirikali yao ni nini kwa Kenya? Ulipataje uwezo wa kuambiwa na sirikali ya Tanzania, hiyo ingeenda through the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Well, that policeman, whoever he is, he should go home. According to the UNHCR, which Kenya is a signatory of, countries may not forcibly return refugees to a territory where they face danger or discriminate between groups of refugees. Amnesty International has urged Kenyan authorities not to deport Lemma, as it would amount to a human rights violation. Tundu Lisu, another prominent opposition leader, is also seeking asylum at the German embassy in Dar es Salaam. Gena Kerori, NTV. Right, that certainly was a blessing. All right, we take our first break on NTV tonight and leave you with the images of the incredible Inca uh, citadel built in the 15th century in Machu Picchu, that is in 
Peru. Have a look at this. Mist hung low over Machu Picchu, adding an eerie, otherworldly atmosphere as delighted tourists entered the area for the first time after eight months of lockdown due to the coronavirus. Take a moment and enjoy this moment of calm. Fresh Fry Premium Cooking Oil now has a new look and an advanced spout and seal. Triple refined, zero cholesterol and natural vitamin E. Fresh Fry, always hot friendly. Now it's even more cooking friendly. Fresh Fry, the premium cooking oil for healthy living. Sona moja imetengenezo kwenjia speciali ili kupambana na maumivu kwa haraka. Sona moja ina aspirin kama kiungo. Sona moja. Kitulizo kamili. Maumivu ya kizidi, pata ushauri wa daktari. When the world changed, it made us go back to the simple joys and love the little things even more. Like serving up your best, eating together and sharing more. Now, oh, we'll take nothing for granted and always remember to taste the simple joys. Coca-Cola. Taste the simple joys. Fun and food go together beautifully at GMC Place. Enjoy our succulent meals in a serene setting with a varied choice of fun games for the little ones. Cup it up with a cuppa or a cocktail, all available to your taste. Discover the joy of a warm pool by diving into the Blue Oasis heated pool. Oh, at GMC Place, the fun never ends. Make your reservation today on 0701-560-560. For a better tomorrow, don't forget to do the 1, 2, 3 with Colgate every night. So, vile nasema, wache ni kubatie statistics. Ne kuna gamia alfu moja mia tano. Tunakuwa drapo gamia na kuwa alfu sita. Alfu mbili na tengeneza leather, na tengeneza viatu, wallet, kibeti, na uza hapa, na batia wewe 50%. Ah, wache ni weke credit ni kupigie. Na mna gani wewe? Hii mabu ya kuhishua na kredit kila saa. Come on. Nunuwa hiyo simu ya waterphone. Calling Viber to Fiber is zero shillings per minute. And it is not expensive. Only 2,999 Kenya shillings. Alo hali wali wa 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 wa. Hata fudhali hiyo kredit ikai ni nunuwe simu basi. Faibika leo na waterphone for only 2,999 Kenya shillings. It will always be free to call Viber to Fiber. Sona moja imetengenezo kwenjia speciali ili kupambana na maumivu kwa haraka. Sona moja ina aspirin kama kiungo. Sona moja, kitulizo kamili. Maumivu ya kizidi, pata ushauri wa daktari. Rafael, I promise you I'm going to find that woman. The woman that rejected you and made you a fool. I'm sure that this woman is going to suffer in her own body what she made you do. He said that he loved me. And for me, he can do anything, Mom. Anything. As you can see, everything was just a lie, my sweetie. Your mother told me what happened and I want to be with you. Roberta, please open the door. He died because of the betrayal of La Bonita. We will never know why that happened. No, you're wrong, Father. Sorry. Get your value-added plot today by cash or through our installment plan. Call us today on 0790-300-300. Optiven Limited, the pay status in real estate. Thanks very much for staying with us on NTV tonight. 
A teachers' union in Wasingishu has criticized Education Cabinet Secretary George Magoha, accusing him of arrogance and high-handedness for humiliating and harassing teachers during his recent visit to Langas Primary School in Eldoret. The CS gave the teachers at the school an earful when he visited the school last week and was rather unimpressed with the state of hygiene. Magoha is said to have asked the teachers to pick up the trash. He was also caught on camera dressing down an older member of the teaching staff. And that video has since gone viral on social media and has drawn criticism from various quarters. About what is here on, 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 on the Sir, you have not done. You have to Aibu sana kuuliza walimu wakote takataka na wanafunzi kwa jumla. Sisi tuliona sio vizuri mbele ya kila mtu. Waandishi wa habari walikuwa pale, wanafunzi walikuwa pale, wazazi walikuwa pale. Ningetaka haraka sana. Kama sasa ama kama si sasa ni jana. Waziri wa elimu Profesa Magoa aombe msamaha watu wote na walimu na wasimamizi wote wa masomo ama elimu katika kaunti ya Wasingishu sisi tuna nafasi ya kumshtaki mbele ya tume ya haki absolutely shocking behavior in my opinion anyway and i'm sure many would agree i shouldn't perhaps be giving my opinion but uh, clearly that video has gone viral and has received criticism all right, elsewhere now, finding gainful employment in Kenya can be frustrating, as many of you will know. From months of dusting up CVs to hoping the phone rings from someone bearing some good news. But for a group of youth, poultry farming turned out to be just that goose that lay the golden egg. Gina Kirori spent the day with the group from Kiambu, who told her all about their venture and why they wouldn't swap formal employment for poultry farming. It's feeding time at the Komodai farm in Kiambu, and as a special breed of Kenyaji chicken indulge in their late afternoon snack, the person feeding them, Ruth Wanjiro, is reaping much more from this simple task. Ruth is just one of the many youth in Kiambu County that are using farming as an alternative means of employment. But this wasn't always her plan. Farming was a dirty job to me. Before my mother used to do it. And like, while I was in school, she used to wake us, so I would wake us and to go and watch the drinkers. But later on, we came to realize, you know, it's not only farming, it's also a source of income to us and also a source of employment. Ruth isn't the only one who initially had doubts about farming as a means of earning a living. So I said, I'm going to join a group to come out and transition. So I'm going to come with a group. 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 The youth group is one of the many facilitated by the Food and Agricultural Organization. According to the Institute of Economic Affairs in Kenya, recent data shows that over 11% of the youth, aged between 18 and 35, are unemployed. Given that the youth form the biggest demographic in Kenya, there is need for them to employ innovative ways to generate income. We started with training. We trained them with Comba. Village community, mm, village, village community banki, which meant that we taught them how to buy shares. Uh, each share, and uh, each member was not allowed to buy more than five shares, so that the, the member could not own the group. In total, the group here has 90 of these rare Kenyaji chicken. These chicks are also soon on their way to clucking like the older ones. For them, this has been a rewarding experience. <laughs> Na hakuna kitu naweza kuambia na like farming farming is the best thing i think jo hakuna ni wewe ni wewe you are the manager kuna mtu anakufanya supervision if i try you feel like doing farming do it with the whole heart start with what you have don't compete with others if i try you have 2000 shillings you can go for some chicks but the venture has not been without its difficulties challenges ziko jo utapatana na diseases like in hizo challenges 
tunasema ni poa huwa zinakufanya hiyo next time usifanye hiyo mistake as these feathery creatures shake a tail feather it is a ticking gold mine for many who opted to take the unconventional route the youth at Gedongori sub county are proving that employment doesn't always have to come in the traditional form gena kerori ntv chambo You know, you did not look impressed. Um, but either way, a great story there. Uh, one that no doubt uh, gives us all a little bit of hope. All right, elsewhere, Baringo County has started off on an exercise that will lead them right into the serpent's nest for answers to the sometimes fatal snake bites. Researchers have begun collecting venom from snakes in the area to begin local production of anti-venom. Well, this will provide reprieve for a community that has for years suffered high mortality rates owing to insufficient anti-venom distribution and also poor road networks. Snake bites happen suddenly and just as quickly as the snake bites, the venom moves through the victim's body causing havoc to the nervous system. Death may occur if an anti-venom is not administered to the unfortunate victim. And because it is hard to control the behavior of snakes, Baringo County officials believe it to be wise to prepare for possible attack from the vicious animals. We want to identify in every count what kind of snake species are there so that we use the venom from those particular snake species so that we use it as anti-venom. Baringo County has seen many people suffer from snake bites, but similar attacks happen in other counties, and so the project may not be confined to just Baringo. But it is not just collecting the venom that will assist preserve life in snake-prone areas, training on what to do when a snake attacks. The dangerous snakes in Baringo, the, uh, what we call snakes of medical importance, that cause morbidity and mortality uh, include the puff adder, uh, this is a viper, we have the equis species, we have the black mamba and the cobras. So they all present with different uh, clinical signs. While that happens, leaders in the area believe that for those who suffered life-altering injuries or deaths from snake bites should be compensated. We've been crying for compensation. We really wish the national government would still look at that. Because this is a resource we don't want to destroy, but we want to utilize it to, for the benefit of the people. In a sensitization forum in Baringo, concern was raised about the knowledge of healthcare workers of possible snake bites to occur in certain areas. Close to 50-60% of the snake bite victims coming into the health facilities it was ending up in death. So you see this is a very um, uh, bad statistic really for our people. Banners were put up around the venue to educate participants of what signs to look out for in their efforts to identify the type of snake bite. Charity Mwangi, NTV. All right, well, that is great news, and it is so interesting that anti-venom that's used to treat snake bites is, in fact, made from snakes. Um, I did an interesting, interesting story on that, um, found it pretty fascinating. All right, at this point, uh, let's take another breather, but check out this clinic in Tokyo. Here now, a woman in a white coat carefully records the particulars of the newest patient and that is a sheep-shaped stuffed toy. The Natsumi Clinic specializes in, get this, restoring much-loved teddy bears and other cuddly toys to their original glory, delighting deeply attached owners. Well, talk about first world problems, eh? But uh, biashara ni biashara, as Julian Zamboko would say. He's up next with the business news. How much? Ni 20 bob. Kata. Ni how much? Hii ni so. Hii ni 20 bob na hii ni so na zote ni the same size. Madam, madam, the price of mutura is calculated by the formula. The length multiplied by the circumference to the power of the capillary 
kafilifiri. Na as you can see, yours has more kafilifiri than the other one. Endelea. While other networks discriminate, Sisi, Atubagui, Tuna serve everybody. Get to Bonga 10 and enjoy 100 minutes Airtel to Airtel. Upgrade to Tubonga Plus 20 to get 100 free minutes Airtel to Airtel, plus 10 additional minutes to all networks. Dial star 544 hash. Not just for a few, but for every one of you. Airtel, the honest network. My primary school life was difficult but my mom struggled and I, I managed to finish the class age 2016. I knew back in my heart that when I was getting a, a scholarship I couldn't make it for the high school. My friend told me all benefit of going to fly, scholarship, school fees, shopping, transport. I knew that there is no any option to get the school fees. That's why I went to apply the scholarship. My mom was called back and told that I didn't go the scholarship. I knew it that my dreams would come to pass. 2020, when the coronavirus pandemic came, uh, I was very, very worried about my KCC. But Wings to Fly gave us light system and the radio that we will continue lessons with it. Now I can read at night and wake up very early in the morning, like four, to go through my books. Before I got the scholarship, it was like darkness was before me. But when I got the Wings to Fly scholarship, Light has come to my life, and I am sure that by God's grace I will go to the best university in this world, which is Oxford, to partake medicine and surgery, and I can see my future being very, very good. Do you own land or property in Nairobi? Hurry and clear your outstanding land rates. We have extended the 100% waiver on land rates up to 15th November 2020. So. Collect your invoice from our cash office at Times Tower Banking Hall or City Hall and Makadara offices and pay today only through the Nairobi County Revenue Collection Accounts at Cooperative Bank of Kenya. You stand to gain 100% from the 100% waiver extension. At the end of the waiver period, KRA will institute enforcement measures. Terms and conditions apply. Kenya Medical Training College will hold its 88th graduation ceremony on December 3rd, 2020, virtually at KMTC Graduation Square, Nairobi, from 10 a.m. Graduates must pay a graduation fee of 2,500 to National Bank. A donning graduation gown will be optional, and graduates wishing to get one can visit KMTC headquarters in Nairobi from November 4, 2020, to November 20th, 2020. We invite you to join the live event on Facebook at KMTC Official and YouTube at KMTC Official. KMTC, training for better health. <laughs> and is here. I would definitely give this next time. Cousin's Baby Gift Pack. A carefully selected range of safe baby products with natural goodness. Trusted for decades by millions of moms across Africa. Cousin's Baby. The gift that keeps on giving. Are you thinking of bringing light into your house? Think of Sumo Kando. Why Sumo Kando? It is non-drip, doesn't smell and has no smoke. It's giving you money value by burning for a long time. And it is also brighter. Any day, any time. Sumo Kando is the best for you. Purchase Sumo Kando from the nearest shop at a pocket friendly price. Always smile and walk with Sumo Kando from Rock Industries Limited. For inquiries, visit our offices at Nume Road of Lungalunga Road behind Cotton Manufacturers near Sinai Stage. You can also talk to us through 0722-575-619 or 0736-028-181. Pata kila kitu upendacho kwa M-Pesa kupitia star 334 hash.
It is time to get down to business. Welcome, I am Julian Amboko. Kenyans could soon have to part with more in their monthly statutory remittances to the National Social Security Fund as the fund's management banks on out-of-court engagements to unlock the full implementation of the NSSF Act of 2013. The management of the National Social Security Fund says there is light at the end of the tunnel following the seven years of protracted lawsuits which have impeded the full implementation of the Act. The Act proposes an increase from the present 200 shillings to 6% of one's monthly income matched by another 6% from the employer. Uh, this act is very good for the country and uh, we've been able to clear out some of the issues that were in contention that uh, made this uh, case go to court and have four sections suspended. Uh, once we engage out of court and uh, some of the key players in the whole court process have agreed with our uh, recommendation and we made some headway. So the next step is to just to get it out of, out of court and fully implement it for the good of this country. And on to the capital markets. For the first time in eight years, telecommunications giant Safaricom has reported a decline in its net earnings with the company's profit after tax for the six months ended September 2020 standing at 33 billion shillings compared to 35.2 billion shillings a year earlier. The m -Pesa business line took the hardest hit in the period under review with revenue declining by 14.5% to 35.9 billion shillings under the weight of the zero rating of the transfers as a relief measure in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. On the flip side, revenue from data business grew by 14.1% to standard 22.2 billion shillings. The strong performance in data was underpinned by the increased uptake of remote working and schooling in light of the pandemic. The last time Safaricom reported a decline in its half-year net earnings was in 2012 when its profit after tax stood at 4 billion shillings down from 7.6 billion shillings a year earlier. Now, four months after Nigerian lender Access Bank PLC inked the deal and completed the acquisition of Transnational Bank, the takeover has been consummated. Alex Mwanginao reports on the latest foreign banks to set foot in Kenya. And with that, Access Bank PLC now takes over control of the 28 branches of Transnational Bank, which have been rebranded to Access Bank Kenya. Access Bank PLC, which is headquartered in Nigeria, is a banking behemoth in the continent with over 36 million customers and operations in 12 countries spread over three continents. The COVID-19 pandemic has altered the business landscape and also created opportunities for others. Kenya's place in the sub-region of East Africa as an economic and technological gateway cannot be contested. Access Bank has a goal to become Africa's gateway to the world and Kenya is strategic to this goal. This is because we have discovered that East Africa is latent with enormous potential, which Kenya is central to unlocking. Kenya is the second East African nation to have access banks footprint, with Rwanda having already opened its doors to it. Is that we are going to deploy a strong IT platform, you know, to enable us to de uh, deliver on our digital banking system. We are also going to bring well-tailored uh, product suits to delight our, co our commercial banking customers, to delight our corporate banking customers, and to make everybody happy, really. So that's why we are here. We are here for more than banking. We are here for access more. Even as the consolidation of Kenyan banks that the Central Bank of Kenya had been hoping for continues to take place, the additional muscle that banks are attaining through the mergers and acquisitions will hopefully rope in more Kenyans to formal financial platforms. It's a fact that despite the significant growth in the number of financial service providers we have witnessed over the years, a majority of Kenyans are still unbanked, especially in the rural areas and in low-income households. Access Bank PLC has over 900,000 shareholders and at least 30,000 employees. It has subsidiaries in sub-Saharan Africa. Alex Mwangi, NTV.
The formal appointment of Nigeria's former finance minister Ngozi Okonjo Iweala as the next director general of the World Trade Organization has suffered yet another setback. According to communication from the general council chairperson Dr. David Walker, dated 6 November 2020, the special meeting of the general council, which was slated to take place today to take the formal decision on the appointment, will not materialize as earlier planned. Dr. Walker has cited concerns around the prevailing COVID-19 pandemic as one of the key reasons why the meeting will not take place. Last week, it emerged that the Trump administration was opposed to the selection of Iweala with questions over the manner in which the selection was conducted. Dr. David Walker says he will continue engaging the delegation on the next feasible date for the meeting. And that takes us to the close of business. Enjoy the rest of your viewing. Answers here. <laughs> yes, oh. Wow, what a nice gift. I would definitely give this next time. Cousins Baby Gift Pack, a carefully selected range of safe baby products with natural goodness, trusted for decades by millions of moms across Africa. Cousins Baby, the gift that keeps on giving. Go ahead is believing to make each day a brighter day. It's those small acts that go a long way. Go ahead is our determination to rise. Going ahead is our courage to do something new. Go ahead is never giving up in the face of adversity. It means growing our own. It is making the most of what we have. To go ahead. Now, that is the Kenyan spirit. Wataipenda Ataipenda And them Pia yeye Na hao pia Kila mtu ataipenda Pata kila kitu upenda chokwa M-Pesa Kupitia star 334 hash Kwa kuweka kila kitu kwa namba moja, tumerahisisha mambo. Ili uweze kuendelea kufanya vitu unavyopenda ukitumia M-Pesa. Ah, Helen Paul. Hello, madam. Would you like to join us on this mission? Yes, but how? Just one question for you. How do you keep your toilet clean? I use regular detergent and bleach for washing and removing yellow stains. I've been using it for years. Oh, madam, the regular detergents and bleach are used for washing clothes. To disinfect your toilet properly, you need Hapik 10X. It is specially made for germs and stains removal. Hapik's thick formula settles on stains and gives 10 times better cleaning compared to regular detergents and bleach. Wow, now I'm convinced, Helen Paul. Really? Yeah. Now that she's part of the mission, the next house is yours. From far with you, mm. I even gifted you a magnificent house. Mm. Rosa, it's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. Please help me. When it comes to fever, you need to be both. Panadol Baby and Infant starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Panadol Baby and Infant, tough on fever, gentle on your child. With the Stay Soft Refill, saving money is as easy as snip, pour, mix with water, and shake. Stay Soft Refill. It's two liters of Stay Soft for up to 30% less.
wa Kenya. Hii fight hatukuchagua lakini tuko na choice. Tuchague kujilinda. Tuchague ku protect familia zetu. Tuchague usafi. Kuosha mikono. Kuosha manyumba zetu ndio tulinde watoto wetu na tuvae mask. Future yetu iko mikononi mwetu. Kenya, let's do it for the ones we love. Welcome back. Officers from the Directorate of Criminal Investigations have arrested a man who was captured on camera assaulting a woman. The man, identified as Mauricio Montcali, had a confrontation with the woman and was captured slapping her. Members of the public who were present at the scene then lashed out at him, causing him injuries. He was arraigned before the Kiambu Law Court today and the court ordered that he be taken to hospital for treatment and he will be arraigned once again after that treatment. Now the coronavirus isn't the only pandemic making headlines this year. Somalia now faces a fresh desert locust storm. The pests have been overwhelming several other East African countries this year, exasperating food shortages amid the unprecedented and already challenging COVID-19 pandemic. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations have stepped in to alleviate the food crisis. Countries have been warned to stay alert to avoid severe destruction, as was experienced in the infestation experienced earlier this year. Right, the sports news is up next, but have a look at the moment. 33 skippers started the ninth edition of the Vendée Globe race in France uh, a couple of months ago. Now, the 27 uh, men and six women set sail on their monohulls for a solo, non-stop, round-the-world race. It takes about 70 days to complete this journey, which is approximately 24,296 nautical miles. What a sight. Stay with us. Watson Karuma joins us after this break. protect ourselves from viruses but not all products protect us did you know that using Dettol soap and water protects against viruses many viruses are surrounded by an envelope with receptors that enable them to enter a human cell and cause infection Dettol soap destroys the outer layer of the virus and effectively removes it protect your family from the spread of viruses with Dettol Dettol cleans and has now tested and proven to be effective against COVID-19 virus this has been Medifax for Dettol Kira! Kira? Where are you? <laughs> Valeria! Mommy! That's why you need the superior protection of Morty! Morty 360 degree reach. Only this has 11 fans which enable it to reach the farthest corners. Morty, total indoor protection. Sensitivity pain fast with Sensodyne Rapid Action. 
for clinically proven relief in 60 seconds. Jaza, fuel na tumia ni true. Equipment new tumia ni true. Stock yangu ni fresh ni true. Our true accounts kwa mtandao ni Stawi up pale FB na Stawi underscore KE pale Twitter. Number Z2 True ni 0709714999 na 0730714999. Pay bill yetu True ni 796101 na account number ni namba yako ya simu. Usilipe kitu ndo upate loan. Stawi is a product by KCB, Cooperative, NCBA and DTB Banks and is regulated by the Central Bank of Kenya. Stawi ni moja tu. Medical Training College will hold its 88th graduation ceremony on December 3rd, 2020 virtually at KMTC Graduation Square Nairobi from 10 a.m. Graduates must pay a graduation fee of 2500 to National Bank. KMTC, training for better health. In the Assistia Mitana Absa, the official banking partner of the EPL in Africa. Stand the chance to win 1 million Kenya shillings every month when you deposit into your Absa partner personal or business account. That's Absa. That's Africanacity. Get to Bonga 10 and enjoy 100 minutes Airtel to Airtel. Upgrade to Tobonga Plus 20 to get 100 free minutes Airtel to Airtel. Plus 10 additional minutes to all networks. Dial star 544 hash. Not just for a few, but for every one of you. Airtel, the honest network. Raphael, I promise you, I'm going to find that woman. The woman that rejected you and made you a fool. I'm sure that this woman is going to suffer in her own body what she made you do. He said that he loved me. And for me, he can do anything, Mom. Anything. As you can see, everything was just a lie, my sweetie. Your mother told me what happened and I want to be with you. Roberta, please open the door! He died because of the betrayal of La Bonita. We will never know why that happened. No, you're wrong, Father! Sorry. Get your value-added plot today by cash or through our installment plan. Call us today on 0790-300-300. Optiv Limited, the pay status in real estate. NTV Sport in association with Showmax. Welcome to NTV Sport. I'm Watson Karuma. I'm sure we're all yearning for some football. Some good news. The Comoros national team is expected in the country on Tuesday morning. That's just tomorrow. Comoros will play Kenya in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers first leg on Wednesday before the return leg five days later. The Harambe Stars have been training for well over a week now with the foreign based players only joining the team over the weekend. Ayub Timbe is one of the players in camp and the winger cannot wait to don the national kit in the qualifiers. Uh, Joe first I feel poor, could come back uh, to the national team, uh, could come back in the game. COVID-19 may destroy a lot of things, uh, not only football, like in Pia, key normal life outside uh, football, quite to Engisana worldwide. So, Mimi ki footballer, na pia as a normal human being, na fraya ku come back to, let me say, to start coming back to normal life. So I'm happy to be here. I've got to make a good uh, preparation for these coming games, na pia on our next journey. I mean, uh, tournament make a ime tujanga. Now, Football Kenya Federation says Captain Victor Anyama will be joining the national team ahead of the AFCON qualifier matches against Comoros, going by his performance on Sunday with Montreal Impact against DC United, where he scored a crucial goal. His presence could be very crucial. Wanyama's header took the scoreline to two all in the 74th minute before Romelo Cueto scored the winner. The Canadian side and playoff.
Tendera corona wacha niseme di deme afrika wacha zaji wengi sana. Sana ata officials pia. Kwa hivyo ila ningeomba juu sasa hii ukiangalia sasa hii wacha niseme hiyo kavu imeanza kufurate ni sasa hii. Ningeomba kama serikali ingekubali sasa hii watu turudi tucheze tucheze na hizo conditions zenye watakao natuwekea. Game ichezwe. Now South African billionaire Patrice Monsepe will contest the Confederation of African Football Presidents election next March. The South African Football Association that is SAFA announced today. He owns Pretoria-based Mamelodi Sundowns who have been among the top 10 clubs in Africa for some years and completed a South African treble last season. His decision raises to three the number of candidates for the top job in African football with incumbent Ahmed Ahmed from Madagascar and Jack Anoma from the Ivory Coast also in the race. Mutsepe, a former lawyer who is married to a sister of South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, became wealthy through various mining deals. Now, Mikel Arteta admitted Arsenal were unrecognizable from the side that has made plenty of progress in his first year in charge as Aston Villa stormed to a comprehensive 3-0 win at the Emirates late Sunday. Bukayo Sako's own goal and a double from Oli Watkins took Villa to six, just three points off the top of the table with the game in hand. A second...
be put in place to achieve the wage bill to revenue target of not more than 35 percent. What is Kenya doing to tame the ballooning public sector wage bill? What are the risks associated with runaway expenditure in servicing salaries and benefits? What progress has been made since National Wage Bill Conference held in 2019? This Thursday, 12th November from 7.30 p.m., NTV hosts a live virtual conversation shedding light on the country's wage bill burden and exploring viable solutions. Nation Leadership Forum. Engaging society, impacting the nation. Raphael, I promise you I'm going to find that woman. The woman that rejected you and made you a fool. I'm sure that this woman is going to suffer in her own body what she made you do. He said that he loved me. And for me, he can do anything, Mom. Anything. As you can see, everything was just a lie, my sweetie. Your mother told me what happened and I want to be with you. Roberta, please open the door. He died because of the betrayal of La Bonita. We will never know why that happened. No, you're wrong, father. Sorry. Get your value-added plot today by cash or through our installment plan. Call us today on 0790-300-300. Optiven Limited, the pay status in real estate. Fact Finder from the BBC. We look at the role of misinformation in fueling the attacks on foreigners in South Africa. We speak to a fact-checking journalist who takes us through debunking fake news on Facebook. And do adolescents account for half of new HIV infections in Kenya? We went digging for answers. What a relief. Thank you, Gold Crown. If regular milk makes you feel uncomfortable, try Gold Crown lactose-free milk. Milk that loves you. half <laughs> Kila moja, anarizikia yake. Mimi vile na hustle hivi, hii ndio jasho langu. Kila jumanne katika NTV Jioni, tayapata makala maalum ya jasho langu. Kwangazia raha na karaha, heri na shari za watu katika kazi na vibarua mbali mbali. Mimi, Max Riala, na kuunda glass, ndilo jasho langu. Na hii ndio jasho langu. Haito The African Dogman, na hii ndio hustle langu. Nami ni Daniel Mule, na hili... Ndilo jasholangu. NTV